Hi, welcome to Vanity's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is called Isabel's Dessert. You're probably wondering what Isabel's Dessert is. Well, Isabel's Dessert is a beautiful dish I had tasted just a little while back at her dad's birthday party. And after I had tasted, it reminded me of my childhood and similar dishes that my mom and my dad have made. So I asked her if I could make it. She told me a few of the ingredients that go into it. She called it this and that dish. So I thought it'd be nice to call it Isabel's dessert. So let's get started. So let's get started now on the base part of this dessert. What we would need is two or three cups of crushed grain crackers. So we'll pour this in. Um, we need a tablespoonful of sugar and two tablespoonfuls of butter. Okay, so we got two and a half cups of uh, crushed grain crackers and a tablespoonful of sugar and two tablespoonfuls of butter. So we're just going to mix all of this together. Now this dish is no baking. All it is is just layering all of the ingredients and as I do it, I will explain it all to you. So just mix all of this together. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. So it's just until all the butter and the sugar is blended in with the grain crackers or the grain, crushed grain crackers. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put it into our pan. Like I was saying before, there's no baking to this. We're going to be using a square pan. You could use a round or one of your choice. So we're just going to dump all of the grain crackers into this pan and flatten it down as flat as you can get so that all of the layers would go in on top of this. So it looks something like that. So we're going to set this to the side and we're going to bring over a jello and you can go any color. Um, I'm uh, going to be doing red, uh, a cherry flavor on this one. And the reason why I want to mix this first is because I want for it to start to set because of course we all know that jello takes a while um, to set. So we'll just pour the full pack of jello into the bowl and we're going to be using a cup of hot water. So stir all of the jello crystals into the hot water and uh, until you can see that it's all blended in. Now I'm not going to be using a cup of cold water on this one. I'm going to be using a cup of, of, uh, of ice so that um, it will start to gel quicker and um, then it will be easier for us to do this dish and layering. So you'll see as it goes that it'll start to gel and it'll be great for putting it into the layers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set the jello to the side with the grain cracker base and we're going to start making our lemon. Um, and this is from uh, lemon pie mix. And what we're going to do, I'm going to say follow the ingredients on the box, but Isabel told me that she didn't use any egg. In it. So the egg yolk we're going to leave out and we're just going to make it with water and butter. Okay, so we're going to be using a quarter of a cup of cold water and a package of the lemon filling. I put right into your medium pot or medium saucepan and then just stir it all around until it's all condensed or starting to dissolve. So after the, the filling is dissolved into the water, put in two cups of hot water and then start to stir occasionally. Now again, like I had said, we're not going to be putting any egg yolk into this mixture. And it's quite tasty actually, even without it. I've always added with it when I've made uh, lemon pie. But um, you'll see with this dessert, that you'll find that you don't even notice that it was there. So just stir it occasionally until it starts to thicken. Okay, so that's coming along nice there. So while I'm waiting for this to start to get a little thick, um, we want to stir the jello. We want to break down the ice into it so it'll melt 
but as you can see it's starting to get a little thick and I know it's not going to set into this bowl now but I don't want it to set because when I layer it on top of the, the crust you'll see what it's going to look like. So let's get back to our lemon. As you can see um, the lemon is starting to thicken in there now so you keep stirring it until it's all combined and then when it gets to the very end stage when you see it's starting to bubble then that's when we're going to add in our tablespoon full of butter and we'll remove it from the eat. You see it bubbling? So now I'm going to add in the butter. Okay, as you can see it's nice and I got it all combined. So the butter is in there now. I'm going to remove it from the heat. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start layering this dessert. All would be left to do after we layer those two ingredients is to whip up our neutral whip um, cream. Um, now let's take that spoon out and we'll just pour it directly over your base. You can take it all and put it in there. Okay, so you can just evenly spread the lemon around and that's what that's going to look like. So now what we got to do is let this cool down a little bit before we put the jello over the top. But luckily for us, I got one made in advance that we could look at. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it's all set. Um, you can see the layers. You got your graham cracker layer, you got your lemon layer, and your jello layer. So what we're going to do next is whip up our Nutra Whip. I got a cold bowl. I've said in previous clips that anytime you're working with whipped cream or Nutra Whip, it's nice to have a cold bowl to start with and that helps blend it all together. Okay, I'm using 500 mils of Nutra Whip. You may not need all of this, but I figured I'll use it for other other desserts or even my pancakes. So what you'll do is on a high speed start your blender and whip it until it's all nice peaks. Okay and this is what it's gonna look like. That is absolutely delicious. Okay so before I get started putting the Nutri Whip over this one, I'm going to show you now um, that the jello is starting to gel and I'm going to pour it over the top of the lemon. So pretty much that's what you would do. It'll all even out because it's still a little runny. And then just take this old dish and put it into your fridge and leave it there until it's all set. And then after it will look like this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is start to put the last topping on this dish and the other one I got put in the fridge. So basically, I'm just going to scoop out a nice alping of this Nutra Whip. You could use whipped cream, cool whip, whatever your favorite is. Uh, Isabel didn't say what she used as a topping, so I'm just kind of leaving it up to you guys to decide on what you would like. This is what it looks like when it's finished. I hope I'm doing Isabel justice on this dish. And what I'm going to do now is cut out a nice piece to show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to cut this delicious dessert now. Um, I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do it. If it was in a, a square pan, uh, like the other one that I got, you could do it in cubes. Um, but this one, I think I'm just going to take out uh, just a nice piece. Okay, so I know that it's nice and set, but the whip, the Nutra Whip is still a little soft. But this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to try to get a little bit more and I'll break off some graham crackers. I'm just going to top it off with a little bit more graham crackers. Um, also, um, maybe probably you want to wait until it, the, the top part is a little more set. But this is what it's going to look like and it's absolutely delicious. So pretty much um, you could do this in a square pan or a larger pan and do it in little small squares. I tried to make a big dessert and this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see the layers 
and um, the taste of it is really, really nice. I hope I done Isabel justice today on a dish. I know hers was absolutely delicious and this one, when you make yours, it'll be equally as delicious. This ends our episode of Isabel's Dessert today. I thank Isabel for allowing us to uh, showcase our dessert on Bonita's Kitchen. Thank you to everybody who have joined us today. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Bonita's Kitchen and more people can get to enjoy the dishes like this. Just visit my YouTube channel and go up at the top right hand corner and you will see a subscribe button. Just touch that and it will prompt you to follow what you need to do. Also visit us on www.bonitaskitchen.com, our Facebook page and on Twitter. So thank you again for joining us on Bonita's Kitchen. From my kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day.